Second Edris chapter two, Zalakia, Second Edris chapter seven, verse forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. Kohaloyam la Yahawa Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rekahakarash. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us this truth, that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one third men, women, and children of Israel, and to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens, but their lineage, their seed lines from their fathers goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom. This is the brother Habashai Ibadi of GMS Chicago. Hey, you see the title right here, man. This is uh, from Daily News, and it reads, uh, the title says, America's Doomsday Fears Reveal Worries Range from World War III to Killer Robots, but another dreaded scenario is the scariest of all. All right, so there's many variables where Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you people ignor ignorantly call God and Jesus, is going to destroy this place, man. Why? Because, hey, it, it is the mother of harlots, man. All right. This place is full of abominations, man. Right. And, hey, it's the Lord's story. All right. We're living at the end of a, a sinful age. All right. And a righteous one is coming in. And America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. All right. There's many um buzzwords and, and, and titles for ba uh, America in the scriptures, man. Babylon, the great, the great city. All right. Egypt, Nineveh, Basra, right? All those wicked kingdoms, man. So, hey, they even have a doomsday clock for Babylon and it's getting very close. You got uh, the, 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 the deficit is at $34 trillion last time I looked, you know. Uh, you got civil unrest. The people are, are just complaining. Let's grab this real quick. We always pull this, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Are the righteous in authority? No. The righteous are the Israelites, man. All right, starting with the, ele the elect, the 144,000, the government, all right, with Yahweh Shai, King David, all right, in the 12, it says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And who's ruling? The wicked. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, he has stewardship over the earth. His face is plastered everywhere. He has a God complex, all right? He, he paints himself as uh, of, of uh, as God, starting from the uh, Renaissance period, all right? And Renaissance means rebirth. Rebirth from what? From when they came out of those caves, man. All right, because hey, Jake pushed them into those caves uh, before the uh, uh, um, the Byzantine uh, uh, Empire. All right, when they say Rome fell, Jake is the one that ran him up into those caves, man. The Edomites, so-called white people. All right, that's why they called them uh, ca Caucasians. So they had a rebirth, but guess what? This is that little season that they were ruled, and it's coming to an end. Right. Let's grab Revelation real quick. And they know it. This is a thing you stupid Americans don't know it. But you got a hunch that something is wrong, but you don't know the full gist. All right. Only two groups of people that know totally what's going on is first the elect and the elites. All right. And who are the elites, man? Your globalists, your hidden hand. All right. Rothschilds, Rockefellers. DuPonts, you know, the crew. It reads here, Revelation 12 and 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth, because he, because he, ha he have but, he knoweth he have but a short time. All right? A short time for what? Rulership. So he's going to go crazy, man. Like the scripture says in our second address 16, a madman uh, uh, sparing none, man. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. Let's go real quick to um, let's read this again. 
America's doomsday fears, right? So what's their fears, man? Nuclear war, okay? We're here, right here at uh, World War Three. Um, what else? We live in frightening times, man. And we love when you when you Babylonians are scared, man. Okay. War in uh, Ukraine and Gaza. <laughs> Robot dogs, you know, old uh, cyborg Terminator uh, machines. Republican voters uh, most fear economic collapses. Collapse. Democrats are more alarmed by climate change, which is some which is BS. All right. It's just for population control. Uh, what else? Economic fear. Another sea like pan uh, pan emic. All right. Which is the plagues of Egypt, man. So pretty much these plagues, man, wildfire. Which some of them are set deliberately. But guess what, man? It's the doing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that put it in these spirits of these devils to destroy their own um uh, their own empire. To do what? They're trying to do a, a global reset so that they they can funnel everybody into the digital hub, the digital prison, so that they can microchip you, man. Uh just so it, you know, like the scripture says, rumors of war. Let's see what this uh comments talking about. I can't get the comments, huh? Whatever. Won't let me get the comments. Yeah, doomsday preppers. See that? You got to ask yourself, why are billionaires making uh, doomsday uh, bunkers? That lets you know. Elon Musk with AI. Yeah, it won't let me read the comments. That's all good, though. But anyway... I ain't going to get into the article. The headline says enough, man. So now let's read this again, man. Second address. Get into the scripts, man. Oh, now they let me do it. Uh, comments. Too late now. It's time to jump into the. Well, let me just see. Hey, and these Edomites kill me talking about if it weren't for the Democrats. Hey, it's your system. I thought y'all had edament domain and this is my country and. You so-called uh, white people who have the best uh, IQs and all that. Y'all so smart and everything. Fix, fix it. You know? Fix it. They ain't talking about nothing. It's all this, you know, left and right. All right? Two, two wings on the same bird, pretty much. Right? So, let's go back. Put that... Uh, Article as the uh, backdrop. Slack you. Come on, where you at? Boy, I, I, I'm tired of Esau's technology. Whatever. Anyhow, we're talking about Babylon's destruction. I want to get back to the article, but it won't let me. Whatever. Second address. Where are we at? Second address seven and forty-three. It reads, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. Alright, and that's how Esau world is 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 ruled off of man. Corruption and lies, man, murder. Okay, what the uh Job nine and twenty four tell us the earth is given it to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? So it says here, um, intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Okay? So, man, this is beautiful. I could just keep on going, but for time's sake, and, hey, how is this ha things happening, man? Off of mere words. That's why the scripture says uh, a man shall be an offender for, for a word. Hey, because we're chanting this place down like Jericho, man. The prophets, mainly the prophets of GMS and the uh, affiliate groups, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And hey, Elder Malcolm and, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, Bishop Jeremiah Kemp always opened up with this with the Y uh, guy, man. 
All right. The prophets, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. All right. It's going down, man. We're living in beautiful times, man. OK. And how do we know these things? Prophecy, man. The prophecy. Prophecy means to say something before it happened. This is 2nd Edra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouse shall uh, suddenly be found empty. The store inflation. All right. That's what these uh, these uh, Republican Republicans were crying about talking about economic downfall. All right. The dollar isn't worth anything. All right. It says, but the trumpet shall give a sound. The prophets, man. All right, we're blowing the trumpet that this place is getting ready to fall, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Yeah, because y'all mocked us. Hey, what's that saying in the world? They say uh, first they uh, laugh at us. No, first they ignore us. Then they laugh at us. Then they want to uh, uh, fight us because you're afraid. You Edomites and hey, you, you, you uh, niggas and spiggers too and you tontos, man. So-called Negro, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Hey, two thirds of you are going to get destroyed right along with this devil, man. All right. Because you've latched on to his ways. You have the if I can't beat him, join him spirit instead of clinging back to your heritage. Hebrew Israelites, man, so that you can have a chance at being saved and being exempt from the wrath of the Lord. That's coming very soon. OK, you're afraid. That's the reason why y'all scoff at that time. Continuing at that time shall friends fight against one another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall st stand still and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remain from all these that have that have told thee that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Who's going to see the Lord's salvation? The elect. All right. According to Matthew chapter 24, verse 30 and 31. OK, it says, and the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. Let you know reincarnation is real, man. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another me meaning for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith. Because it's going to take a lot of faith to receive salvation. It shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And this is why it's so much uproar. As if this place is built on lies, man. So now when the truth come out, hey, that's a problem. Hey, truth is now hate. All right. You tell, you try to correct somebody in your own family, a loved one. Hey, you tell them the truth about themselves? Like, hey, you know, maybe you should try this this way. That You keep going that way. It's going to hurt you. Hey, they think that's betrayal, man. All right? But it's all good, man. Because, hey, this place is getting ready to go down. Revelation 18 and 7. How much she, she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. This is talking about uh, the great whore, man. Babylon the Great. Okay? A.K.A. America, the great city. It says, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. All right. Arrogance, man. And you eat them like so-called white people. You you you're the most arrogant nation uh, of all, man. The other nations and our people act like are arrogant, just like you, because you're ruling. All right. So they have the same mindset of you. This is why we don't deal with 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 uh, two thirds of our people, man. And that two thirds where we get that from is from Zechariah 13 and eight. Read it. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. That's what you did to a whore back in the day, man. That's her judgment. You burn her. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh power who judge her. It says, and the kings of the earth who have who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her, all right, using that dollar, all right, you got to, hey, to use uh, uh, Babylon's uh, greenback, you have to accept alphabet lifestyle, man, okay, with a smile on your face. Continuing, it says, and live deliciously with her, 
shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning because they, uh, Babylon is a cash cow. All right. You look at the ports on uh, uh, each coast, you know, the ports of Oakland and all that, Seattle. And then you got the ports on uh, New Jersey, Baltimore, Miami, the Gulf of Mexico, New Orleans and all that. Right. That's money, man. America mostly receives. That's why she's a whore. Everybody comes here, make money off of her, and then they leave, go back to their country. Verse 10, standing far off for the fear of her torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. All right? And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her, their merchandise any more. All right. So the cash cow is finished, man. Let's grab second address 15 and 10. It's going to be just like in the days of Egypt. Uh, second address 15 and 10. Behold, my people, who's lost people, the Israelites, man. OK, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It's all through the scriptures, man. My people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt and Egypt. Like I told you, it's, it's America is also called spiritual Egypt, according to um, Revelation 11 and 8. All right. Spirit, spiritual Egypt and spiritual Sodom. All you have to do is look at the landscape of, of America. Obelix everywhere. All right. I have Horus everywhere. Right. And it reads, uh, but I will bring them with a mighty hand. And a stretched out arm. Who's that them, man? The elect to receive salvation, man. And smite Egypt with plagues. Hold on. What to say? As before. And will destroy all the land thereof. So you got to ask yourself, is Egypt is like a ghetto. No, nobody really. People just go to Egypt to look at the, the pyramids. But Egypt ain't running nothing. All right. There's no Egyptian dollar out there where everybody is... Uh, uh, trying to get to Egypt. Verse uh, 12, it says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. <laughs> Beautiful, man. So this going to be like a, a, a dream, man. This wicked, evil temporal kingdom, man. You know, it's just, it, it, it's due. All right. It's, it, it's since as uh, an iniquity has, uh, piled up to the most high man i'm gonna end it off with this second edger six and seven then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of the times this is address talking to the angel or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau were born of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, and we're spiritually uh, holding this heel now, hey, because we're exposing this devil. He's being revealed, like like it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting around verse 6, all right? For Esau is the end of the world, all right? That word world in the Greek is eon, which means an age, all right? The end of a so-called white supremacy. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. That right there, my friend, is the kingdom of heaven on earth. All right. Like the Lord's prayer on earth as it is in heaven. A righteous kingdom, man. We're in dwelt righteousness, man. The law, statutes and commandments is the rules of the whole earth. So with that, I pray it's edifying. Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Ba Shemar Kakadash Shalom.